Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick tip about this radio here. This is the T16 from Jumper, running a version of OpenTX called Jumper TX, and it's a question from a gentleman called Alex who wants to know how you program to, so you can access the six flight modes on something like a Pixhawk or anything with Ardu Plane, Ardu Copter, any of the Ardu Pilot family. Now I did a video a very long time ago where I talked about this, uh, so I'm kind of reiterating some of those steps. If you are unfamiliar with the power of OpenTX or you're unfamiliar with what you can and can't do with stuff like Ardu Pilot, then I have series on the channel. I'll put links down below. Go and have a look through there. You might find things that you didn't know. But I'm going to specifically cover it again on this radio to help Alex out. So Alex, this one is for you. Now the cool thing about this radio is that it has this six position switch along the top that provides an equidistant value from minus 100 to plus 100, basically across the entire channel range. So by clicking each of these six positions, we could have them programmed to access one of the six flight modes. That would be quite a cute way to do it. The challenge that we've got is that you can't just use this control and expect it to match each one of the six flight modes in Mission Planet. It doesn't work like that. In fact, a long time ago, I did a video where I talked about this and that you had to use a little trick on the radio so that each of the six positions on a rotary control or a switch like this matched up with the six different flight modes. So again, I'll put a link to that video down below if you want to go and find it, but let me show you how this all works. So if I just hold the model page, page across into the mixes, then what we're going to do, channel 8 is the default mode. We're going to press and hold the rotating key. We're going to give it a name. Always give it stuff that, so you can remember what it is. It's fine when you've only got one thing on the radio, but you know what? It can be one of those things that once you've got a couple of dozen things on your radio, you kind of lose the will to live a little bit. Now for the source, we're going to select the six position control, 6P, and that's going to work for these up here. So if I return out of that, now if you watch the bottom of the screen, as I move each of the controls, it goes from minus 100, minus 60, minus 20, plus 20, 60 and 100 it gives us the full range, both in and out. And that won't match up with the stuff in Mission Planner, so you won't get it all working. So what we have to do is we have to use a little trick. We're coming out of here, we're going to page across again, and we're going to create a curve. Now to create a curve, we'll create another one in here. We're going to press and hold the Enter button. We're going to give it a name, uh, just for speed here, I'm just going to call it M. We're going to make a six-point curve, and then we're going to go down here and then set up the values as this. So first of all, we're going to select minus 90. This little rotary control is really quick for this. Next one, you want it as minus 40. Next one, you want it as minus 20. Because that's where the two curves kind of are the same. Fourth position, we want that as 10. 60 position we want as 40. And you can see as we're doing this, we're actually creating this curve on the right hand side. And then the sixth position, we actually want something like 60. Go the right way, that's going to help. There we go. So we zoom down 60. Okay. So the curve is going to look something a little bit like that. Now that is going to make all the outputs for these six position switches at the top match perfectly around the middle channel values needed for each of the six flight modes in Ardu Pilot. So I'm going to uh, return to come out of that. I'm going to hold the page button to go backwards in the menu. We're going to go down and select channel 8, which is the one we're interested in. That's the one we set up before with a six position switch on it. But this time, if I press and hold and say edit, we're going to go down here and we're going to say we're going to have a curve custom and then pick the curve we want. Um, M's the one I've just made, so that'll work. Now, if we look at the bottom, what will happen is as I click the buttons and go along the top here, it rather than go from minus 100 to plus 100 in kind of steps of 40, you'll see that it actually does what we set in that curve. So it'll start at minus 90, then go to minus 40, minus 20, plus 10, 
plus 40 and plus 60. So that is how you do it. That will then mean that each of these buttons when you go into Mission Planner to set up your modes will correspond beautifully to each of those middle channel values. So hopefully that helps you, Alex. If this is new radio to you, then I do have a T16 playlist as well. Go and have a check out on that because that covers a lot more of the basics. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.